We are two wild and crazy guys. Too good. Welcome to DBL from his wild and crazy days on SNL to being a box office star on the big screen. Steve Martin is now the subject of a new documentary on Apple TV+. Plus. It looks back on his start as a stand-up comic to his life today. Take a look. I always thought of him as the door out of the 60s. You could be silly again. Steve. All comedy was political, and I felt that it was time to change that. Steve Martin has just taken the big leap onto the big screen. I was launched into the stratosphere. I was scared out of my mind. <laughs> Oh, his face. In the doc, Steve talks about not really having any talent, those are his words, and being consumed with anxiety in his 30s. But told CBS Sunday morning he's mellowed out at 78. Watch. I have this theory that as you age, you either become your worst self or your best self. And I feel like I've become my better self, and I can see other people becoming their worst self. They become more hostile, they become more difficult, and I, it's a pretty clear line for me. I love that. We could all learn from that. That's wonderful. Okay, so just looking back on his life, we he's touched all of our lives, depending on the movie. What is your favorite Steve Martin movie? There's so many. I, I was know. looking over the list today. I think part of his longevity is he looks the same. He looked with That's the white point. hair when he was 40 You're till right. now, right? He looks the same in every movie, That's so you identify you. with him. I don't know. <laughs> I, I hope. I mean, God bless. I hope I look like yeah. Steve Martin. But uh, so many movies. The Jerk was at the top. Ooh. I was I was almost picked the Jerk, but My Blue Heaven is my favorite. Oh, Me and my, my friends. Blue Heaven. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> we send each other text messages with lines from this movie. If you have not watched My Blue Heaven and you like funny one-liners in yes. movies, watch My Blue Heaven. It's hilarious. I and forgot it holds about that movie. So good. I'm glad you He's brought like that Sebastian back. Sebastian Maniscalco went in. He's like, hey, what are you doing? Hey. A little that was very offensive to oh, my sorry. Italian brethren. Uh, your brethren? <laughs> <laughs> your brethren? All right, Tori, what about you? All right, I don't know, but it's... Oh, oh yeah, yeah. The three Crazy amigos! So for me, this is my family. I watched it on VHS with my sister. It like burned through the tape. You know, I watched it so much. But the physicality of Steve Martin in this, Chevy Chase, Martin Short, they think they're in a movie. They're actually not. They're being shot at. <laughs> the whole confusion yeah. is funny. Um, but Steve Martin in that is uh, just my favorite. And just so you know, if you meet Steve Martin on the street, he is an introvert. He will not stop, but he will hand you this card. It's very famous. This card says, certifies you, you that you had a personal encounter with me. You found me warm, polite. <laughs> intelligent and funny and then he signs each one that's cute yeah. Tori yes. I didn't know that yeah. and he's a Grammy winning yes. um, banjo artist right. as well extremely talented mm -hmm. so uh, very interesting guy all right what about you Erica I'd have to go with bringing down the house with Queen Latifah yes. oh my gosh they were a good pair there we go <laughs> talk about physical <laughs> yep <laughs> I, I, think, he like I think the thing with him is he's not afraid to be silly. Yes. And it's what I've always said about Tori. Yeah, like, yeah. There's somebody that will uh, do something extremely silly and over the top for your entertainment. And I think there's like people love you when you do that. Thank all you. Not time, all though. the time. Yeah. No. <laughs> that's, that's one of the things I loved about you in the auditions is I was like, who is this person? <laughs> Acting this way, goes, and then when she got the job, what'd you feel? I, I was like, well, there are other jobs. Like <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, and we've been friends ever, ever since. So you've yes. always said that. No, love that's you. True. I what love about you. you? Really quickly, I, I've read his autobiography called "Born Standing Up" a couple times, just because I I was unfamiliar with his comedic background and how famous he was. Uh, but it is in terms of movies for sure, still relates to my life almost even more now. Parenthood. Uh, there's oh, situations where gosh, I forgot he's, about de he's dealing with a kid that's got anxiety. Yep. yep. Should we have another kid? Do we have enough money? Uh, sibling that always wants money that's ter that's affecting your marriage, your parents getting older. Yeah, no, really. It's so, mm -hmm. uh, you know, relatable to what we're go what's going on now to think it was made in 89. Mm. It's amazing. But I yeah, love parent, that movie. What about that's you? a good one. So mine was a tie. First of all, I love the jerk. Uh, so Top good. of the, the list, too. This guy hates cans. I, <laughs> my God, it's the best. But planes, trains, and automobiles. Oh, that's good. a great one, too. But I also love Father of the Bride. I know. Oh. Oh. So it's tough. I would I say know. mine's a three-way tie between between Father of the Bride, Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, and The Jerk. That's a but good one. He, oh, oh I, so that good. movie stands up. I watched it like over Christmas. They always played over the Christmas mm -hmm. break, and it was perfect. It holds up. It holds up. What I say? Stands up. Well, you know me. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I try. All right, switching gears. Travis Kelsey may be a three-time Super Bowl champ and happens to be dating one of the biggest pop stars in the world. But lately, he's been getting some attention for his quote-unquote dad bod. Travis and Taylor were spotted on vacation in the Bahamas last week, and some people noticed that he may have put on a few pounds. But Travis had fun with it with his brother Jason on their podcast watch. We're, we're, at, we're, at we're in the this same weight class now. <laughs> Two, yeah, I know, but I'm... Two eighty three. Right, I do when it comes still, to drinking. Whoa. It's March. The we're heart. in the same weight class right now. Okay, so some of our viewers, in fact, there's one that I want to read, uh, stating, is it okay for people to have a dad bod if they're not a dad? I feel so uncomfortable even talking about this. I because you it. feel like it's a double standard with women. Yes. And it is. Call it out, Sam. It totally is. I feel icky. We're, we're staring at us, man, with a shirt on. And we're saying, did he gain right. weight? Can you imagine right. if he said that about a woman? Totally. But I agree. Isn't a dad bod just kind of a shortcut way to communicate what somebody looks like physically at the time without it, being I mean, without it, it yes obviously there are gender lines and I I equality but just like when if if i just say hey uh eric i'm working on my dad bod it's just a short way to say i feel a little soft i'm gonna work out a it's, it's just a way to communicate quicker Erica, okay. what? What? Erica? What? I'm so sorry that the term dad bod exists. Like, <laughs> boo hoo, cry me a river. It, for, I'm forever. not complaining about it. No, forever. I, all I know is that when it's time for my husband and I to go on a beach vacation, I'm the one that's like, let me get my, let me do yep. this, let me do that, let me get ready for the beach, let me make sure that I can fit into this swimsuit, da da da. da. And he's like, Cool. Mm -hmm. You know why? Because it doesn't matter. <laughs> like, you no, know, one, no one is really, really paying attention. No, or you know judging. why? Or, you know why? Because women, you don't believe me, we are attracted to here and we like dad bods. The forehead? Men, men use some other organ that makes them attracted one, to Sam? women. <laughs> and they don't give us any sort of leeway. attraction or leeway or credit to be have a mom bod. Uh. We're okay with I dad bods. I disagree. Oh really? Oh really? I, yes. Have you been to uh, yeah, like uh, any place where the, where that would be? I've been around um, dudes. You, I know what they talk you about. Are from Miami? Okay. No, I'm from. Yeah. No, I'm saying, I'm, I know you're from Cleveland, but you spend a lot of time in Miami. You talk about it a lot. Mm -hmm. You know mm -hmm. that if we're gonna go somewhere in Miami. You're gonna have a guy who has a dad bod or some version of it. And it's okay. With some woman that looked mm -hmm. like she just stepped out of Vogue. Yep, yep. And it's totally fine you're because about they're one-on-one, on one, they're the same. Yes. You're same. talking about nope. a tropical destination. Nope. I'm talking about in real life, regular cities. Mm -hmm. A lot of guys, you hear the word thick a lot. A lot of guys are very cool okay. with that, very curvy. It's a thing. I know it's it's like, oh, Yeah, but you'll say curves in looks. all the right places. I think, no, uh -uh. I, I think you would be surprised. No. I've talked to a lot of dudes saying, Yeah, I'm but they you, want curves maybe here and here, but they don't want a bigger stomach. I'm telling you, Sam, it's, it's not as much of a well, thing. Well, you don't represent society.